What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Taking a Risk with George. George, today I'm going back to a video I've done before and I had to do it again because it failed so miserably the first time. If you can see over my shoulder where I'm at, we're going to see if we can see the waterfall today. So stay tuned. All right, so one of the neatest things about this place is that it's literally right off the side of a road. You'll see there's the sign, the Griggs Nature Preserve, and it's just right off the side of a road here. You just gotta take this cool little path down here, and it's actually really short. I was surprised the first time. Oh, look at that. Protecting our watersheds, making it greener, keeps it cleaner. Look at that. Green is my favorite color, so I'll have to remember to make things greener to keep them cleaner. We all have a hand in water protection. That's right. That is our source of water. You know, when I when I say our, I mean literally everything that needs water. It's their source, so it's our job to protect stuff like that. And this is my favorite part, besides for the actual waterfall, which hopefully is flowing. A friend of mine was here not too long ago, and her and her sons. Oh, I thought that was a chameleon. I got so super duper excited. I was like, they're not native to this area but oh man there's some there's definitely creatures in there the staircase i love the staircase she was here with her sons and it was a flow in the first time i came here about two or three years ago it was bone <laughs> dry it was a disaster and uh it was still fun bringing the family out here oh man everywhere oh, i'm gonna have to file a complaint with myself uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's looking a little skimpy over here. And, uh, that tree is huge. Blocking that waterway, damming it up. But this is absolutely gorgeous. It's supposed to be super duper hot today. It was super duper hot yesterday. I'm pretty sure all over the country it was super duper hot. But we actually had a record here of almost 100 degrees yesterday in the middle of June. So absolutely crazy. Stayed inside. Oh, I see all oh, creatures. One of my favorite creatures, and I think it just there it is. Oh, the state bird. I absolutely love it. And just like that, it is gone. That was a cardinal for anybody that's wondering, and it's still whistling. Still whistling. I will find you. And that was a male, which one of the things I love about birds is that the males are always, or usually, should say, beautifully colored, and the females are rather dull. <laughs> and, uh, of course, it's all for mating. You know, the brighter your colors, the better your dance, the more you have a chance to attract and get in some pants, I guess. Yeah, since it rhymes, we're going to go with that. But, oh, that's a good sign right there. So that must have been just a little divergence creek that has nothing to do with the actual creek because look at that that's definitely flowing over there and my goodness do i love that sound oh i've missed it i'm gonna get in there i don't have any of my boots but i'm gonna get in there i don't think this park really wants you to get over on that side of the bridge but i mean can they really stop you there's no signs that say it's illegal or trespassing i don't think there might be one good sir how's it look today the falls. Oh man, I just took 15 seconds of video. Oh, awesome. Post it. You'll like it. Oh, awesome. That's a good sign right there. I absolutely love hearing that. Oh, look at that. Some more uh, Creek Merengue. Always good to see. A lot of you informed me that that's not necessarily pollution and that it could be just uh, runoff from other things that is not necessarily pollution. So that's always good. Good to know. Oh man, this creek is beautiful. Where are these beautiful birds that I hear? I mean, one of the greatest, what I was just saying about birds, how the males are the colorful ones and the females are not. There's a female cardinal, she just flew by, is uh, the peacock and the peahen. Peacocks, are, of course, are the more gorgeous green ones with the big plumes and they use those to hypnotize the females who are the peahens. And if you know, they're, they're like a brownish gray. There's really nothing spectacular to them. But that's just the way nature designed it. I love watching Sir David Attenborough and his Planet Life series where he talks about the different types of birds. 
and it is just absolutely crazy to see them do their little hooded dances and stuff like that i love it especially the one he's like he's like all black so he like he creates like a black hole with his wings and there's a little spot right in the middle it's like a green spot and it's supposed to hypnotize her oh check this out folks i don't think i did this justice last time i was here listen to that sound oh my goodness just a short walk to get oh wow look at that it fell that pile of rocks was not here last time and oh my goodness i would love 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 to scale a wall like that i have no scaling uh experience whatsoever unless you consider psoriasis to be some type of scaling but i actually don't suffer from that luckily enough <laughs> i got lucky some other mem uh, family members might but my goodness welcome to jurassic park oh and i can already see it oh man oh man oh man why haven't i come here sooner this is like literally right up the street from me and i remember a few years back when i was looking for fun things to film with the family i was like blown away to find out that we have a waterfall here in Columbus, because Columbus is rather flat. So you wouldn't expect it. Up by where my parents live, oh look at that creatures. That's a beautiful dragonfly. It's supposed to be good luck, according to a lot of you guys, which I love. That tree with all the vines is just absolutely majestic and spectacular. We're gonna get to this fall here in a second. Check out that beautiful tree. Oh my goodness, the temperature is wonderful right now. It's like, it's supposed to be upper 80s, maybe 90s, but in this area right here with the water flowing and of course all the green lush vegetation providing shade, it is beautiful. The humidity is super low, thank goodness. That would make a huge difference. I thought I saw some weird looking creature thing. No, I don't think that's a creature. I don't entirely know what that is. That looks like maybe a disease on this on this tree or this uh what is this a grapevine sure that's a grapevine oh my goodness so we came here in the middle of summer last time which of course was a huge mistake i was told to come in winter because columbus has rather mild winters and if we do get snow it usually melts right away uh last year was a little different oh my goodness so beautiful oh my lanta folks Oh, ho, ho. wow, I cannot believe how absolutely gorgeous this is. And look at that, there's a rainbow on my way over. Uh-oh, somebody left their underwear. Why is there always underwear? Oh my goodness. Now I do know they do not want people in there swimming and stuff like that, but of course that doesn't stop everybody. I mean. There's signs that say don't litter and you still find litter everywhere, which I was, I'm surprised. I only found that one. But of course, as soon as I take a look around, there's another one. But check that out. This thing is a flowing. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely going to have to bring the family here when they all have time. Luckily, I had a chance to get away today. I was, I've been doing a lot of dadding and once I get into the dad mode, it's hard to get me out. And, um just haven't been able to get out and film and that's the reason why i go into dad mode so for all of you that were checking on me thank you so much for checking on me i absolutely love and miss you guys as well but here i am at the beautiful waterfall holy moly this is whew, when i say i'm in my element this is my element right here this just takes my level of happiness from way up here to way up there you know i can't even show you how high this is i absolutely love this this is and to have this all to myself right now is like an extreme miracle, but it is rather early. I was surprised to run into one fella and uh, he set me up. You know, he let me know that it's flowing. He took 15 seconds. I'm going to sit here and take 15 minutes of video of this beautiful waterfall and gorgeous little creek side. I absolutely love it. Like, how could you not enjoy this? And just the gusts of wind that are coming off of this are so cooling. And if you can see in the, uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's mist. There's dew droplets. There's water droplets just floating through the air and birds flying at high speeds coming to this beautiful area. 
just to uh, enjoy the benefits of living next to a gorgeous waterfall. And that thing is spectacular. Oh man, oh man. I definitely needed this. You know, it's things like this that help me forget, you know, all the all the negativity that's going on. And that's another reason why I haven't really been on YouTube is because of all the drama that I don't want to get into. And I try to stay away from it. But of course, what happens is because I'm associated, people reach out to me to find out information and it pulls me into it. And I do my best to stay out of it, but it's almost impossible to escape. So stuff like this does help me escape, which is... It's definitely needed. Oh man, that's got to be my favorite part right here. I love that it comes down and hits right there and just creates a bigger looking waterfall splash. And then right at the bottom there where it hits. Oh my goodness. I don't think this is very deep either. I think if I remember correctly, when we were here when it was dry, that's only about five or six, maybe seven foot deep. So I mean, that is kind of deep, deep enough to jump, but I would not jump from up there into there that's that's definitely uh <laughs> you're probably not going to make it out alive or without injury though i'll say that without injury because you can definitely see where the water changes colors it's i guess lighter over there i think that's the deep part and then this dark part is really shallow there's rocks right there and as you can see there's literally rocks right here so yeah i would not suggest if you ever decide to come down to this area to try and get up there and jump Oh man, I could sit right there on this rock for hours. You know, I'd have to bring like a poncho or something, a little raincoat. I could definitely sit here and edit videos and make thumbnails. And like I was saying, the best part, one of the best parts, is that you get it all to yourself. I mean, depending on the time of day. It is rather early. Most people have a real job, I guess. <laughs> it's so awkward telling people that I'm a YouTuber because everybody gives you that look like, oh, okay. Like, oh, so you're an Instagram model. No. Yes, kind of. And essentially, yes. You know, the ones that are uh, doing it for a living, yes. I do YouTube for a living. I am a lucky soul. And I always have to remind them that I am very lucky and I understand how lucky I am. This isn't something that happens to everybody. And they still give me funny looks. I had uh, an old acquaintance ran into her and she asked me what I was doing. And of course I told her, I always try to jazz it up because who doesn't, you know, everybody tries to jazz up what they do. I told her I'm a content creator. Oh, so you do TikTok dances and stuff like that? No. No! I do not do TikTok. I'm straight YouTube. And uh, she went on a little rant about how it's impressive that I make enough money to survive on YouTube. <laughs> and I just stood there smiling, nodding my head, yeah. And then they, they always ask, what type of content do you film? And that's the part that always throws me off because I don't know. Entertainment? I don't know, nature walks, box openings, I don't know, storage units, pallets, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Sometimes I wear a funny hat every once in a while. Just beautiful. I do want to, I wish I could get down here. I know I can. I know nobody will be upset because there, there is no signs. Another cool feature is that people come here and carve their names. But of course, stuff like this can be replaced. So they're not necessarily immortalized because I remember this. Uh, I don't think this was here last time. 
So that's one of the deterrents to keeping people off of the trails. And oh man, everywhere I look, seriously, two cans. And no, not the bird. Oh, three cans, okay. All right, that makes it a little bit better. Not really at all. But this right here, oh man, if this doesn't give you Jurassic Park feels, and of course the, the next movie just came out, I think recently, look at all the little dew drops, it looks like it's raining. That's so cool. Definitely Jurassic Park feels. I feel like I can come around this corner and run into a Spinosaurus, Egypticus, if you didn't know, that's its uh, biology name, and that is my favorite dinosaur, just because they found them in Egypt. And it's a really cool predator. He swims, and he eats fish. He's got a huge sail. And in uh, Jurassic Park, the third movie, he was the, um, I guess, the antagonist, I guess alongside the bad people, which there's always bad people, trying to take advantage of the dinosaurs and use them for no good, which doesn't make any sense to me. I remember for the longest time they were talking about weaponizing the, the raptors, like that would ever do anybody any good. Yes, they're fast, yes, they're stealthy, but they are just creatures. I think that's why we got away from using dogs. Same, same thing. But, on to another note, look at that cliffside, my goodness, can I block out that sun? Oh yeah! Oh, I am in love. This is definitely, if I were to ever go on dates again, this is where I would take a date, for sure. Um, I don't like them when they're ripened and they turn into, you know, the squishy dates. I like the, the fresh ones, straight off the tree kind of dates did y'all think I was talking about? It's the fruit. Um, the, they're like dry when you eat them. It's so weird. They literally suck all the moisture out of your mouth. If you've never had a fresh date, I highly suggest I do not like them when they're dried and, I don't know, raisined, I guess that's the term to use for them once they're, they just become so sweet and sticky and gross and my dad used to buy them all the time and I used to puke. I think... And then at our church, they would sell the bundles of fresh ones. And oh man, I could eat those by the hundreds. Literally, I could just sit there and just pop them in my mouth. They're like giant grapes, but they're not. They're not squishy at all. They're, they're straight up like biting into a potato, I guess. It's a good way to explain it. They're very starchy, I think. And then the one little seed in the middle, or pit, as people say. Oh, what's going on with this little tree? What is going on here? Are those mushrooms? Wow, I've never, I'm coming in contact with so many new uh, species of things that I've never, oh look at that, little creatures, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, little creatures, those are some weird looking fish, those are some super strange looking fish, look at that, there's a little one, usually you see a lot more. More than just one adult and one baby. What are the odds of that? Isn't that how life works? You get distracted by one thing and then you find something great. Oh, and I just found something else that's great. Through there, it looks like a, a tunnel. It takes you somewhere else. Yeah, look, you can see there's a little bit of a dam right there that's built up. And of course, we do have beavers here. Uh, lots of beavers. Oh, there's some more creatures. Oh, there they are. There's the rest of the creature family. Look at those strange looking fish. Oh, that one's swimming pretty fast. This must be air breathing fish. Oh, man. They must have just hatched not too long ago. Probably a month or so ago. The end of spring, or uh, beginning of spring ish time. Super duper adorable. But as I was saying, I'm Having since done these videos, I come into contact with a lot of things that I've never seen before. Something like this, it looks like, I can't even describe it, it looks like wet paper. But it is a mushroom or a fungus. And it's just super duper cool and I love, 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 love. I did this as a kid, walking through nature, finding things. But of course, as an adult, I think I can appreciate it a lot more. Here's a better view of those weird fish. Oh man, so super cute. Paddled fish? I'm gonna call those paddled fish since they have paddle feet. Of course we all know fish have feet. They just hide them really well. But they didn't expect me to be here so that's why I was able to see their feet. 
very elusive are those feet. Absolutely gorgeous, majestic, beautiful. Just a, for me, this place is like timeless. Could spend hours here and feel like it was minutes. Ooh, the water's a little cloudy right there. What's going on? What is going on? What's it hitting? Okay, it comes down these little bits of rapids right here and then it hits, oh, 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 it hits the, the funky goo. The forbidden merengue, the don't eat me whipped cream, the dirty sour cream, the bubble bath after I get out foam. <laughs> it's enough of that. All right. Oh, so yeah, as I was saying, that that wire that they added over there is obviously to keep people from jumping towards the waterfall. But not too long ago. When we came here, one of these was busted out. Definitely not in this area. I'm pretty sure it was like way back there where you can actually get down to the uh, ground a lot easier and safer because that's a pretty decent drop. I'd say from the bottom, from where my shoes are to the floor is probably about five feet. So, I mean, that's not terrible. That's actually an easy jump for someone like me. But one of these boards was busted out. Actually, one or two of them were busted out. I'm pretty sure people were going over there and doing what people do. Of course, they come to nature to experience nature. Uh, sometimes with the help of a substance, so I'm sure that's what was going on. So it looks like they fixed all of that, which is pretty neat. And there is still a little bit more to this that we saw last time that I am going to explore to see if it's still the same as it was. Oh man, oh man, what is that? Something bobbing in the water right there. Let's see if I can get a better look. I don't know. I don't know. Suspicious. No snakes, but there are pipers, so you gotta be careful. Well, I'm sure there's snakes, I just haven't seen any. But I did see some weird fish. Some cool fungi. And no, not me. A different type of fungi. Oh man, I love it. I love this area. I definitely wish there was more to it. It's cool how short it is, but it would just be so much cooler if it was like a hike to get there. I mean, this is kind of like a hike. If you're not used to walking up three flights of stairs, and these are double stairs, I just thought of it. Pretty sure that's 20 per, per set. So that's like six flights of stairs for normals. I really should use the bathroom this morning. But I'm pretty sure there's a nice bridge over here where you can crawl underneath and use the bathroom if you need to. And look at that. The whole time I was here, folks, ran into one person, which is absolutely wonderful. And it's sad that all these people are driving by and they could easily stop for five minutes and come check out the beautiful waterfall, you know, just to help their day uh, be a little less stressful. I don't know. It'd be nice. But check this out. This is a little path. So came out where the cars are obviously came out went the other way and there is a little path now I think this is the uh, the path that was made by people obviously not the uh, park it's intentions for people to come down this way oh awesome that's good to see that's not so good to see, son of a gun. I was expecting something else. Let's take a look this way. You bring your kayak and you can get in the water through there. But just like last time, uh, I was hoping to not find somebody down here, but there was somebody here last time and there's somebody here this time. That's a nice little place I'd like to hang out down there. And look at that view that he's got. That's a pretty nice little view. Obviously, he has a little fireplace to cook his dinners. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to take off, go to another destination. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Always, always, always remember to follow your dreams. And if you can do that, you can follow me as well. Don't forget to subscribe. It does help. And make sure you turn on all notifications. You got to click the little bell. 
that way you are notified the next time I drop a video, which hopefully I'll be getting out and about more and uh, doing a lot more and making more videos for you. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.